All right. Hi, I'm Sailor Jupiter Lita here, and today I'm going to talk about, you know, all right. So everyone is like, oh, what am I going to talk about here? You know, sometimes I come on and I think, oh, should I talk about this? Should I not talk about this? Well, fuck, I'm talking about it. All right. So a lot of folks out there might wonder, are we done fighting with, you know, Lord Zed and Rita Repulsa? Well, I would say no. Given that they're an offshoot of the Dark Kingdom, since Negaverse is a French borrowed word, the English word would be Dark Kingdom. And we're not really done with them yet. They probably are, you know, they probably are still doing, you know, up. Uh, they're probably coming up with some other foe that we gotta fight that we don't know about yet. You know, but <clears throat> it's gonna happen sooner or later. Like, we're not done with them. But then here probably comes a true ground to the film. So some folks out there might think that some folks don't know the true meaning of Yol. Or Jesus' birthday or whatever you want to call it. And it's kind of hard for someone not to know the true meaning of it. There probably are folks out there who lost the meaning of it, but doesn't mean to say there aren't folks out there that never knew what the meaning was. Now, a lot of folks were going to say, oh, well, you know, Santa Claus, and he took you away from Jesus, and it's that and that. Well, that's not true. You see, Santa Claus, or Holy Fellow Nicholas, or whatever you want to call him, he works for God and Jesus. And he gives gifts the same way that Jesus got gifts on his birthday. Yeah. So, the same way that God gave Jesus to us as a gift. So, in a way, it's going on where that left off at. Now, for those who've forgotten the true meaning of Yule, I don't know how you could forget it. You know, I'm not sure. And maybe there are some folks out there who forgot what the true meaning is. Maybe there's folks out there that never knew what the meaning was, but that would be kind of hard unless someone didn't tell them or when they were growing up, they weren't told that was the meaning for it. And I'm not taught, you know. So a lot of folks out there might, you know, wonder what the true meaning is. Well, it's actually on looking the birth of Jesus the Healer, the Son of God, which was in our film yesterday, you know. So, and a lot of folks might wonder, you know, and then there are folks going around with a belief that, oh, well, it didn't happen in December, that it happened in April. Well, first off, keep in mind that we don't know when it, when it truly happened, that is true. But Rome didn't do their tolling or their head track or whatever you want to call it. They didn't do any of that stuff until probably December. You know, you keep, see folks are like, oh, well the wanted, well, the wanted ranks do their head track thing in April. They do their income toll bookkeeping in April. Well, that might be true, but no one knows when Rome did it. So we'll just say that Rome does it in December. Well, it's true the holy book or any of the holy books doesn't exactly say when it happened. You know, they don't, they just talk about everything, but they don't actually say a date or a month or a year. But you can't believe that Rome did their income toll bookkeeping or their head track bookkeep the head tracking in April because that's just what our land does 
their land probably never did it before. You know, it was never done before. So, Agaisus Julius Caesar Octavius, which, oh yeah, that was a long lord name, a long kin name. You know, it never it was never done before. And he had been Kaiser for some time before he felt that that everyone that they should get an actual track of how many folks were living in their Reichdom, you know. So it was probably around December, because keep in mind they never did it before, not when they were a kingdom, not when they were a folk Reich, which really was it didn't really work out that well. And not really when they were a folkdom until that time. So it happened in December. Now a lot of folks are going to say, well, you know, a lot of folks, you know, a lot of folks are going to say, um, well, if that's true, then why do the Orthodox or why do those other offshoot of Christendom do it in January? Well, I don't fully know the full understanding of it, but my belief was there was a split. There was a breakup between one half of Christendom and the other half. And each half of them kind of went on and did their own little thing. But at the end of the day, they all believed in God and Jesus. That's what kept them in the same worship. But with that offshoot, they never wanted to jump to the Agorian, or whatever you want to call it, that day book. They wanted to keep close to the, the old day book that the Romans and other folks had, wor had worked for a long time. They didn't want to jump to the other day book that everyone around the world does now. So that's why theirs falls in January instead of falling in December. So at the end of the day, um, it might be a little bit misleading. But to say to anyone forgot where the true meaning of Yule is. Well, a long time ago, who knows what Yule was a long time ago, but Yule is now Jesus' birthday. And for anyone who doesn't know the true meaning, it would either have been someone who, growing up, was never told what it was, either because their bearers or their keepers weren't worshipable, or they belonged to another worship. And so they were never told what the true meaning was, or they didn't believe in nothing. They were unworshipable. Whatever the grounds were, that's the only way I can think of it. Now, there probably are folks out there who lost the meaning of Yule, mostly, and folks will blame it on all kinds of things. Oh, it's the business wise of Yule. Oh, it, it, it's Holy Fellow Nicholas and his little, uh, his little thing, his little work in it. You know, at the end of the day, your, whatever you want to call it, is the birthday of Jesus, the Son of God. And at the end of the day, yes, there is a lot of business wising over it. Yes, gift giving is a, is a chunk of it. And yes, Holy Fellow Nicholas did play a little break in Jesus' birthday. But not as a, much as a big break as you think, a little small break. But at the end of the day, um, it's Jesus' birthday. And that's what we're on looking and that's what we're gathering for. You know. So, I hope you all like this film. I'm Sailor Jupiter Lita, and I'll see you later.